My pineapple filling for cake recipe is easy, delicious, and unique. All of the other recipes I saw here on YouTube call for canned pineapple, which is totally fine. But if you think back to my pineapple upside down cake video I did a while ago, you remember that fresh pineapple is a lot more flavorful than canned. I am going to use this filling for a pineapple coconut layer cake. I'm going to put the filling between the two layers and frost the rest of the cake with cream cheese. So I'm looking for a really flavorful filling. That is why I am going to use frozen pineapple and not canned. Technically, I bought a fresh pineapple and then I cut it up and I froze it. But you can definitely buy a bag of frozen pineapple or do what I did as well if it's on sale. It's really easy, really quick, and it's one of those things where a little bit of extra effort is going to really make your cake a lot more flavorful. Here in this pot, I have 340 grams or 12 ounces of frozen pineapple. In the United States, it seems like frozen pineapple, the smallest bag is usually 12 ounces, 340 grams. So that's what I'm using. That'll be enough for the in-between layer of a two-layer cake. As you can see, a lot of the pineapple is still frozen. It's probably 90% still frozen. That's totally fine and it's still in rings or large chunks. So as this cooks, I'm gonna break it apart. But you do not have to defrost it. You can literally just open the bag and dump it into the pot. To that, I'm going to add one quarter cup of water because like I said, I'm gonna turn on the heat and cook this. And without some water, I think the pineapple might burn. I'm also going to add some sugar here I have half a cup, or as I measure, 105 grams of white sugar. And later on, to make a cornstarch slurry, I am going to use two tablespoons or 20 grams of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. The first step is just to add the pineapple, the quarter cup of water, and the sugar to the pot. And now I'm gonna turn on the heat. I'm going to let the heat defrost the pineapple and as it thaws, I'm gonna break it apart and I'm going to keep it on high heat, guess mark six out of six, until it comes to a boil. My frozen pineapple has now been cooking over medium heat for eight minutes. Now nine. I think I may have said high heat but I've been using medium heat because I didn't want the water to evaporate away before the pineapple had time to thaw. As I broke apart the pineapple, the larger chunks, I started crushing it with my spoon so that's why it looks mashed. I am going to Continue cooking this on medium heat for 10 minutes and continue crushing it as I go. The pineapple has now been cooking on medium heat once it came to a boil for 10 minutes. So I would say it has been on the heat for a total of 20 minutes. 10 minutes to thaw and to break apart and to start to boil and then another 10 minutes. The entire time on medium heat, guess mark three out of six. As you can see, this has really reduced down a lot. The pineapple has broken apart a lot. It looks amazing and it tastes great too. Honestly, if you cook it maybe five more minutes, you probably wouldn't need any cornstarch, but this pineapple isn't super juicy, so. I'm going to add a slurry just to also get some more of that syrup. So I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to need. So I'm going to start off with one tablespoon. So here I have one tablespoon 
of cornstarch into one tablespoon of water. I originally measured out two of each, but since I'm kind of making this up as I go along, this is my first time making this, I am going to do this and see how it turns out. I may only need one tablespoon. Here, I made a slurry. Now I'm going to combine it just pour it into the pineapple. I did not pour the cornstarch directly into the hot pineapple because cornstarch does not like to be added to hot liquids. It prefers to mix in with, and I think I will need two tablespoons. It prefers to mix in with something room temperature to dissolve and then you add that mixture and turn this down a little bit then you add that mixture to the hot mixture if you add cornstarch directly to a hot mixture it might clump up on you and it might not work at all so that's why all chefs recommend making that cornstarch slurry and then adding the slurry to whatever it is you're trying to thicken. All you have to do is, once you add the slurry, keep it on the heat, stir, and you should see it thicken within 30 seconds. And see this thicken almost immediately. That's what I want, that consistency. So now I'm just gonna turn off the heat. So yes, two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water, like I had originally anticipated, is exactly what I needed. Almost forgot, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt just to help balance out all the flavors. So my pineapple filling for cake is now complete. After letting the pineapple filling cool down and thicken up for a few minutes, it was time to spread it on top of the bottom layer of my coconut pineapple cake. I think that you should probably add the pineapple filling when it's still a bit warm, so don't let it cool down all the way. And when you do spread it onto the bottom layer, be careful not to spread it all the way to the edge. Here you can see that I didn't bring the filling all the way up to the edge of the bottom layer. That's because when I put on the heavy top layer, if you bring the filling all the way to the edge, I'm sure that at least some of it is going to get pushed out or for lack of a better way of saying it, squished out the sides. Although this pineapple filling for cakes recipe was absolutely delicious, after making my pineapple pie and my pineapple cobbler, I think that a little bit of lemon juice and lemon zest would help to bring out the pineapple flavor even more. But the most important part of my pineapple filling recipe is definitely making it with fresh pineapple or frozen and not canned. Although I use my pineapple filling for coconut pineapple cake, I'm sure you could use it in a lot of other things as well. Cookies, pastries, empanadas, whatever you want. I know that I already included the recipe for the filling in the pineapple coconut cake video, but I wanted to do a standalone video for easy reference. As I already said, my pineapple filling for cakes with fresh pineapple and with cornstarch recipe was absolutely amazing. It took my cake to the next level and I know that it'll take yours to the next level too. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.